back control escape. Um, when I escape the back, um, there's a few th different things to consider. There's a few obstacles in the way. First, Mikhail's legs. Second, Mikhail's arms. And then his chest is all, and then his uh, chest and his head positioning as well. So I need to be able to beat those three things in order to escape. What I want to do first, of course, is to defend my neck. If I just worry about the hooks, this is what happens. I get choked because I'm not protecting my neck. So my aim, number one aim is to survive and then to work my way to escape. So what I want to do first, this is the choking hand which is hidden underneath the other hand. I want to pull down on it. So I grab my uh, hand at his wrist and the other one. All I do is I move it down slightly and I pinch it to my chest. I'm not going to be able to just push it down completely, but I can definitely try to choke me now. It's much more difficult for Mikhail to move it up to my neck and I'm just not spending much energy. Okay, what I want to do next is try to win the head battle. So if you're ever confused about which way to escape, there's a little cheat sheet in here. Mikhail's choking hand is going to point to the direction I want to go. So this is his choking hand. Uh, just show them and then point your index finger. I'm going to escape this way. So obviously your opponent is not going to do that, but if you imagine this hand just pointing, that's the direction I'm going to escape first. So I go here. Now I'm going to bridge up slightly to the re relief pressure on the hooks because they're holding my hips down. So I'm going to bridge off my legs up his body and as I go down, I'm, I'm going to beat his head with my head. So my aim is to get my head to the ground. When my head is here, Mikhail is preventing me from escaping by pushing his head into me. So I need to make sure I clear that. Okay. Now my next step is to get my shoulders flat to the mat. If I try to just turn around here, Mikhail is going to follow me and he's going to make it worse. However, if I uh, get my shoulders flat to the mat, he can't follow me. To do that, I need to clear the hook first and I need to be heavy on this leg because this is still controlling my hips. So I keep my position here, I get my head down to the ground and I use my leg to simply remove the hook and I replace it with my own thigh. Now I'm heavy on this leg, you try to get your hook back Mikhail. It's hard because my whole body weight is on his thigh. From here, I aim to get my, my shoulders flat on the mat so Mikhail isn't on my back anymore and the threat of choke is really low. All I have to do now is get my elbow in and try to come on top in whatever position you can. It's not always that you'll end up in side control or in a good position. It's all often a scramble, but at least you're safe, away from the choke, and hopefully escaped your back.